We all know what Elon Musk is capable of doing. From a humble background, he has risen to a stellar height with a complete dominion over technology of the future. He has expressed his mission of humans on Mars in the year 2024. Is this meant to happen or was this foretold? Let us listen to the story of prediction in the year 1953 by Juan Braun. Elon Musk has always been in the limelight for his extraordinary technological advancements. SpaceX introducing reusable launch vehicles, Tesla for electric vehicles, Hyperloop for fast transportation, Starlink for telecommunication and whatnot. Mission of man on Mars is the apex of them all. How come one man with many missions is able to achieve such great heights. In a recent tweet, Elon Musk has said, if we make life multiplanetary, there may come a day when some plants and animals die out on Earth but are still alive on Mars. The billionaire believes the only way to save the future of humanity is to colonize space. An interesting thing has happened in the year 1953 where a book has been published that predicted the plans of a man named Elon to take humans to Mars. This information was shared by Mr. Toby Lee, who responded to the tweet of Elon Musk, saying, Speaking about destiny, did you know that Von Braun's 1953 book, Mars Project, referenced a person named Elon that would bring humans to Mars? Pretty nuts. The book he's referring to is Mars Project, a technical tale written by Werner von Braun, a German born aerospace engineer and space architect, according to Gizmoda. Von Braun was the leading figure in the development of rocket technology in Nazi Germany and later a pioneer of rocket space technology in the United States. Between his 20s and early 30s, he worked on Nazi Germany's rocket development program. After the war, he secretly moved to the US with around 1,600 other German scientists, engineers and technicians as part of a secret US intelligence program called Operation Paperclip. One bronze non-fiction book is not a standard essay. It uses a narrative to explain to the average reader how a trip to Mars might look in the Cold War. The problem is that the user Toby Lee's explanation is not entirely accurate. In his book, Juan Brown doesn't say that a person named Elon would lead humanity to Mars, but rather that the name of the leader's position would be Elon. This was clarified by another Twitter user Prane Patholi, who provided the English version of the book. The paragraph in question says, The Martian government was directed by 10 men, the leader of whom was elected by universal suffrage for five years and entitled Elon. Two houses of parliament enacted the laws to be administered by the Elon and his cabinet. Nevertheless, the efforts are immense and the time and money spent on this virgin voyage is humongous. Very soon, the earthlings are going to diversify and conquer Mars and become Martians soon. See you all in Mars soon.